Okay guys, uh, time for another one of our shipping videos and we've got another great lineup of guitars today. Really nice to see, to see three Amicus here and uh, we've got some, uh, some X7s, X10, a uh, beautiful combination of X20s and an X30 and we've got a few stock guitars at the back as well that we're going to talk about at the end. And uh, one big thing, I have to give a big shout out to Kim. It is her birthday uh, this week so, uh, so very happy birthday to Kim. She's, uh, she's my other half, and as a lot of people will probably say around here, she's kind of like the real boss behind Emerald Guitars. So uh, she's the mastermind that inspires me. Uh, happy birthday, Kim, and uh, let's look at guitars. So we're gonna maybe go through it a little bit faster this week. And, uh, and we've got some ideas that we're working on, but you're not gonna hear about them just yet. But um, yeah, we've got some, some ideas for the shipping video, uh, possibly the shipping show, but I'll say no more. Anyway, Amicus. So, uh, so I always tell you about the Amicus and um, you know, what I'll always say is this is the mandolin for the guitar player and it gives you that mandolin kind of sound and it's an 18 inch scale. But you know, really this is just a guitar that fits in an entirely different section in our, in our range and that's why I love it. It is the guitar that gives you that mandolin kind of sound and uh, we've been doing it now for I guess about maybe 12 years, I think. Um, so quite a long time it's been in our range. And what I love about it is it just, it brings out this other whole sonic spectrum that you can't get with any other of our guitars. And uh, I just love the sounds that it produces. Um, I've just heard so much great music played with it over the years. And uh, yeah, everybody needs one of these in their collection. It's just such a cool instrument. So this one is finished in green carbon. It's got the, the vines on the neck. Now this is something that we've just added recently. Um, I think for a long time on the builder we only had dots on the inlays for the Amicus but we've added a few um, more options on there so uh, it's nice to be able to enhance the fretboard on your Amicus now as well. Gold hardware with the green just goes fantastic in the gold inlay and, uh, and the green back and sides. So that one was going to Kevin in Missouri. Uh, next one is going to Donald in California and, uh, and very similar in, uh, in some ways but uh, very different in others. So it's green but this is the vibrant green. The other one is the standard black carbon with the transparent green. So the vibrant just has a little bit more uh, pop to it. Um, no inlays in the fretboards here, black carbon. So really nice with that vibrant green and just the black combinations. And, uh, and vibrant green back and sides. So just look at the two side by side for color contrast. So, uh, so standard green and vibrant green. Next up, we are going to James in Massachusetts. And, uh, and this one has um, candy stripe paduk. Uh, two big blocks of color on this. So the candy stripe paduk, if you see it in our, in our stock, we some of them have a lot of lines on it, uh, different color variations, and some have big bold patterns like this one. And um, yeah, very strong color comparison between that light wood and then the reds here. Uh, I love this, just almost like a little crown just down in here. This one little feature just sits very nicely here at, uh, at the bottom of the body. Um, the headstock looks really great as well, just carrying that same theme, the light colored wood. We always like to make the, the headstock match and complement beautifully with the body. Um, again, uh, Ellerbag's Element pickup system, which is really the only pickup choice that we offer on the Amicus. And, uh, and the back of this one's green. So, uh, so quite a contrast between the back and the top. And, uh, and that's, it's been nice to see uh, so all those contrasting colors coming out recently. So, uh, so then from that, we are going to Arizona. It's a nice little tour across the USA here. Missouri to California to Massachusetts to Arizona and uh, and Mark has chosen an X7 so again in the green carbon uh, so green has been quite a, a strong choice this week uh, and always is I suppose you know emerald guitars uh, coming from Ireland the, you know the green isle um, you guys love choosing the green carbon and, uh, and we love building it so the X7 is the 24 inch scale parlor size guitar a uh, really nice, comfortable, compact guitar with a beautiful, beautiful sound. Um, okay, so next we are going to New York, to Thomas. And, uh, and this is a, a really special um, custom that we did in conjunction with our painter here. Um, so we, uh, we took an X7, did it in the vibrant green, 
Uh, Carl, the painter, uh, he put together this design with uh, the shamrocks here. And um, yeah, just, you know, something a little bit different and unique. And uh, I love how it turned out. Um, he's, a, he's a very skilled painter. Um, does some really fantastic airbrush art and, uh, and various other things. So, uh, so we've got the shamrocks on here on the vibrant green. We've got the shamrock inlay running up the fretboard here uh, between with the white and green and, uh, and then gold hardware, of course. Um, that green and gold combination, definitely working well. Now, here's something a little bit special that we did in the back of this one as well. Um, we, uh, we got all the team to sign this guitar, uh, especially for Thomas. So, um, yeah, it just uh, adds a little bit of something onto the back there. Very cool. Now, we are going to England, to Bruce in Thurlistone. And uh, another X7, and uh, this one's camphor burl. Uh, fantastic piece of camphor burl, and really nice um, placement of the veneer. Uh, a very interesting pattern. So it's got this beautiful burl running right around the edge and up around the top, and then this sort of more um, plain section. When I say plain, you know, it's still got a lot of movement and depth to it, so uh, you get a quite a different grain pattern. Very nicely contrast. Uh, beautiful book matched um, sort of pattern running down here at the bottom, and uh, I think that's a beautiful top on that guitar. Back and sides is amber, and we've got the high vibe pickup system on here. Then we're going to Arizona to, to Glade. And um, this is a slimline baritone. So X10 slimline with uh, baritone scale length, so um, 27 inch scale. And uh, this one has the pickup combination of the six um, Graftech piezos here, uh, combined with the, uh, the Quivo humbucker. Uh, onboard controls and switching between the pickups. Uh, top is uh, Quilted Maple in a vintage amber, and, uh, and that's a really cool guitar. So I think that might be the first slimline baritone we've done, um, but uh, yeah, it really works well. No, actually, I think we might have done a slimline baritone 12 string previously, um, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a really beautiful guitar, and um, just a fantastic stage baritone. Uh, that has good acoustic sounds as well. Very nice. So from that, we're off to Maryland. And uh, we're going to Ross in Maryland. Now, I love this. I love the colors, the, the new colors that we've added. Uh, we had the, the vibrant teal that we were looking at last week. So this is vibrant teal. Uh, we also had the um, vibrant pink. And, uh, and that really stood out. We built one just for stock and it sold pretty much straight away. In fact, I think it almost sold twice. Um, there was two people uh, tried to buy it at the same time. So uh, but I think we got that taken care of. Um, but yeah, just those, uh, those really bright, vibrant colors. There's something about it on a Virtuo, or, well, really on an e-guitar, but certainly on the Virtuo, just works really well. So, uh, so this one, Vibrant Teal, uh, with the black hardware on the Virtuo. Um, silver dots and that vibrant teal back and sides. That's a, that's a beautiful virtual. So, uh, so if you haven't come across the virtual before, it's got um, Fishman Fluence humbuckers that give you three different voices depending on where you position the push pulls. You've got a standard classic humbucker, you've got like an overdriven humbucker, and you've got single coils. Uh, you've got your volume and tone going on here, uh, you've got your regular three way on that. Then you can blend that with your piezos. So you've got your six graph tech piezos, uh, volume here and a push pull preset tone on that. Uh, and then you've got MIDI. So uh, you've got your 13 pin MIDI, put it into something like uh, a Boss SY1000 and then you've got just infinite sounds. Uh, able to blend them all together on the guitar. And I think that's really, to me, where the MIDI is great. Being able to um, start with uh, proper analog sounds, blend in a little bit of MIDI and on top of it, and it just sounds absolutely fantastic. So beautiful looking guitar, and makes some incredible sounds. Then we're going to Australia, and this guitar really caught my eye in the rack today. Uh, vibrant blue, and um, I just love blue guitars. Uh, there's just something about the blue, it just really stands out. And, uh, and this one is a really nice combination with 
um, the, uh, the slotted headstock on the top. So that's something that you'll see more on our nylon guitars, but we also can do it on the steel string. And uh, it just adds, you know, really nice um, customized detail. If you're looking to, you know, make your, uh, your guitar just that little bit more special, um, really stand out, then uh, the, the slotted headstock with the shirtler tuners is a great option uh, if you like that kind of style. So, uh, so vibrant blue all round. Uh, it's got the combination pickup system between the Graftech piezos and uh, the K&K Pure Minis, white dots, and uh, such an elegant design. Then we've got another X20 going to Oregon, to Jeff. And, uh, and this one is Koa. And uh, yeah, Koa, we love doing Koa. It's got such a beautiful, rich, warm color. Um, this is a really nice flame pattern running through it. It's got that beautiful holographic movement to it. And, uh, and it's got a nice variation between the lighter green and, uh, and some darker strips running through it as well. So a lot of character in that uh, Koa top. And this has been done in conjunction with black carbon on the back and sides and black hardware. And, uh, and again, that same dual pickup system with the K&Ks and the Graftech piezos. Uh, love that guitar. Then we've got Fred in Colorado. So this is the guitar that to me underperforms the most in our range in terms of sales. And um, maybe it's because of perception. You know, a lot of people have maybe played jumbos in the past and then just prefer a more compact guitar. And there is a trend moving more towards smaller body guitars, uh, you know, parlor size and, uh, you know, more slim body instruments. But you know, if you like just to feel the, the presence of acoustic guitar in your body, uh, then a big jumbo, if it performs, is, uh, is the fantastic way to go. And this is such a, a great sounding jumbo. I wanted to build a really big jumbo guitar. We have a big sound that you just feel, and, uh, and you really do. You know, you get the str first strum on this guitar. Uh, I, the, I think the comment I hear the most is, wow. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely a guitar that uh, you experience in a different way. Um, that offset sound hole really projects that up towards you and, um, and the, just the way that it, this guitar is molded all in one piece, the whole thing just reverberates and you just get that amazing feeling coming through this guitar. So, uh, so definitely um, the X30 Jumbo, um, yeah, we need to do a better job of telling you why this is, uh, is such an incredible guitar in our lineup. It's hard to say it's the best sounding guitar in our range because it just depends what you're looking for. You know, everybody has a different uh, tonal frequency that uh, that catches them most, but definitely if you want the fullest, bassiest sound, then the X30 is the one to go for. And, uh, and with the way the back is contoured and shaped, it's got great ergonomics. It doesn't feel big and unwielding. Um, it's a jumbo that feels like a dreadnought. Um, so uh, beautiful green finish on this one. Ellerbags element pickup system. And, uh, and that's a nice guitar to finish our, our range on today. So. Uh, so Fred, hopefully you'll love that X30. So I was gonna just show you a couple of stock guitars as well that we've got. Uh, we've got a wide range of guitars in stock and every week I'll just pull three or four uh, just to highlight them. And uh, this week I've got a nice pair of X10s to show you. So, um, so the X10 was my first guitar that I went a little bit more towards, I was trying to make something that was more of a crossover between uh, acoustic and electric worlds. And now we've gone deeper and deeper into that with the X10 Slimline and the Virtuo. But the X10 was the original step into that. And, uh, and what I wanted to do was make a really nice um, compact body that had very nice contours, still had a big full body that, uh, that projected great acoustic tone, and then give it a slimmer neck. So it's a slimmer neck profile, has a little bit more of a sort of an electric feel to it. And, um, and overall, it's just a great performer, um, just in how it plays and how it sounds. This one has been finished uh, with our Graftech piezos and just the volume control. Um, so, uh, so it's just quite a, a basic, slim down pickup system. Plug and play, just sounds great. And uh, it's got the white dots, gold hardware. And this one over here, this one, is taking it a little bit further. So this is really the, the guitar that I initially envisaged and designed uh, in terms of a pickup system. So, uh, so this configuration has the Graftech piezos, Prevo humbucker, 
and the 13 pin. So, uh, so this was the first design that we put the, uh, the MIDI on and uh, it's been so successful. Controls are mounted on the side here. Um, you've got uh, the volume controls for, uh, for each pickup, switching in between. Uh, you can go between um, the MIDI and, uh, and guitar sounds and then you've got patch up and patch down on MIDI here as well. So all built on the side of the guitar. This one's finished in, uh, in our teal color and uh, teal back and sides and black hardware. Oh, should I actually show you the, the inlays on this as well. Uh, so we've got the offset lines on this, a new feature we've just uh, added onto the builder. Uh, finished in silver, so, uh, so nice and subtle, but, um, but really look beautiful on there. And the last one I've got for you today is a Virtual. Of course, we've got to show you a Virtual uh, finished in black quilted maple and um, yeah you, you may have seen the videos that we did we did a series of videos along with uh, Kafir um, and uh, he did some amazing content for us uh, came over here and we did a collaboration where he came to Ireland we recorded around uh, all the beautiful areas in, uh, in Donegal and uh, he made a really fantastic video uh, performing on one of these and uh, maybe we'll put a little clip of it on here but um, yeah, the Virtuo, just uh, as I said earlier, such a great versatile guitar, great pickup system, and a black quilted maple just looks amazing. Black carbon back and sides, black hardware. That's a nice way to go. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, if you've got any questions, um, shoot them in. If you want to contact us about any sales queries, send an email into sales at emeraldguitars.com. Uh, you can also get us uh, on live chat or uh, you just give us a call. So, um, so bear in mind if you're uh, maybe on the other side of the world, we, uh, we operate here in Irish time. So, um, so we're working from 8.30 to 5 o'clock every day uh, in Irish time. So you can do the, the, the difference. So, uh, so let's say if you're in uh, LA, uh, we are eight hours ahead of you. And uh, if you're in New York, I think it's five. So, um, so you can kind of work out the, the differences from that. Um, but anyway, wherever you are in the world, hope you're having a great week and I'll see you again next week.